it's Petunia Gal, and we are back over in Planet Zoo, and we are going to start a fresh franchise mode and see what we can do here. It'd be okay. super fun. And um, this every time you open a franchise for the for the first time in the day, you get a 100 100 conservation credits. So we'll go ahead and claim that. So I've got a breeding zoo here just for uh, getting conservation credits, pretty much. So let's get a new zoo going. Um, what do we want to do? I think... Hmm, let's do... Let's do temperate, I think. And we'll do Asia. Sounds good. If I can click on it. There we go. Alright, so what do we want our zoo to be called? I think I'll go back to my original name that I had. I kind of liked it. <clears throat> so we'll do... Again. It <laughs> what the heck? Uh... Okay, we'll do that. Let me know. And we'll go ahead and create. <clears throat> and we'll see how we can do. It's always at the start of a franchise. I'm like, I don't know. Am I going to be able to make it? So let's go ahead. And um, we have... I don't know if you guys are just finding this video and haven't seen my other videos. I have done quite a few um, starts of the zoo, so I might um, skip over some some things. I'll try to go over them, but let me know, and I will definitely go over some if you guys need me to. So let's just do Rustic Path. And they did get the um, bug where I couldn't use the uh, keys to, the shortcut keys to make the uh, path wider and longer and all that. So if you hit the square bracket key um, up and down, uh, left and right, you can make it wider. And for some reason, I can make it wider, but I can't. I can't make it go back. <laughs> this is kind of weird. I wanted to make it as wide. Well, I think that'll be fine. That'll be good. So let's go ahead and we'll just. I think I want to make sure angle snap is on for now, just so we can kind of make sure we have it straight. Okay. So to go to the heat map is H, and we can actually look at the power. Um, wow, that's a wide, <laughs> that's a wide part that is covered. So. I just want to make sure to stay within this um, circle here. And what I've, what I learned from somebody wa uh, doing this is, if you just make, uh, let's go to terrain real quick, and just make a little terrain path around here. That way we know um, how far this goes out without having to go back. Nope, not that. Control Z. Don't want that. Without having to go back into the heat map all the time. Which I kind of like. So we'll go ahead and just spread this across here. Just to get an idea of where we can and can't build without going out past where the power is. Okay. So hit H a couple of times to get out of it. I hit Control Z, but it didn't. It didn't do it. It's fine. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to make a staff path. So let's go ahead and do that. And staff path. And let's change it up. I always use that color. So let's use red. And we'll go right here. I think. I'll be fine. Just have this go down like that. Okay. So what we want to do first is get... Um, let's 
let's see where we want our first exhibit to be. We want it to be inside this area so the staff gate will be covered. So let's go back to our paths. And I kind of like, let me know if the game sounds are too loud. I don't know. It sounds a little loud to me, but it, it could just be me. Um, let's go ahead and change this. Oh, we made those staff paths way too wide, didn't we? Well, I'm going to make this go out like that just because. And let's go ahead and go to our facilities. And we'll go to our staff facilities. Okay, so we need an animal trade center, definitely. And go ahead and zoom in a little bit. All right. Um, let's go ahead and back selling canceled it didn't I let's go ahead and do this we'll do the trade center there we go and then we'll go ahead and do um, I don't know if I want to do the keeper hut here actually we'll we'll do that later and let's do a research center And we'll do a staff room here. And these will all get upgraded to bigger the bigger rooms once we can do that. Um, I'll go ahead and get the workshop. And then I think I'll wait. Well, to get started now, we have to actually put animals in quarantine when we get them. So we'll go ahead and do the quarantine building. But I don't think we need a vet just yet. Alright. And we can also... Can we do it here? Yeah. We can also go down to grid size and the grid height to make that um, as small as possible. That makes it a little bit easier to not have to get things too far. Too far out. Um, we'll go like that. And I think we're good on the buildings for now. So we'll quit doing that. So... Let's see. What do we want to do as far as a habitat here? Let's look at animal trading. And see what we got. We got African wild dogs. Which I think those... Let's, let's look at our, our Zoopedia real quick. If we look at African wild dogs... We'll see. I wanted to look at the temperature requirements. 16 to 40. And where is 26? Okay, so that's not bad. But they'll be good here. What I was thinking of doing was like the warthogs. Um, what else was there? Like for starter animals. Let's, let's go with African wild dogs. Um, they need a grade 4 fence uh, boundary. Their biomes are desert and grassland, though. No, no, not that one. <laughs> Their biomes are grassland. Okay. So, I think we'll be good. 16 to 40 seems, seems okay. So, they need a grade 2 habitat barrier and 1162 square meters so let's go ahead and get a barrier set up and that is need a grade two this is grade three for now we'll do we'll do the wood fence so i kind of want to put a little bit of a a path going out like this so they don't so the guests don't just pile up right here on the uh, path so let's do this let's put that there and we can always make it bigger if we need to so I'm not super worried about that and we'll probably have to honestly because this will probably not be big enough but um, that's not perfect, I know, but you can go ahead and double click on the barrier. And if we click on the pillar here, 
We can- nope. That's not what I want to do. Move. Okay. Click on the pillar and just have it come out a little bit. It's not technically symmetrical, but I'm fine with it. We'll just move this over a little bit. Okay. I think that should be enough. Let's go ahead and get a bear, a wooden habitat gate. And we'll put it back here. That seems good enough. We might want to move that later, but for now it'll be fine. So let's go ahead and get a... Let's put the length, uh, the width down. Um, that's not what I want. Let's go ahead and go from here. And there's also over in settings, if we do, uh, let's just pull this up a bit. We can do snap alongside barriers. That helps quite a bit. Sometimes it hurts, but a lot of times it just helps you place it a little bit better. So we'll go ahead and do that. And, uh, let's see. There we go. That looks a little weird, I know, but it's fine. We'll be fine. Okay. So, let's go ahead and close that. And let's go ahead and get our African wild dogs. Which I should have done, you know, before, but that's okay. So, I think what we'll do, we'll go ahead and, and get them with conservation credits. Why not? Um, that's pretty good genes, I think. So we'll go ahead and get that one. And also, we need a male. I guess last time I played, I was filtering through females. But let's go ahead and do males. We'll just get one of each for now. And uh, we can always do something different later. Two years. The other one was four years, I think. I don't know what their life expectancy is, but go ahead and adopt that one. All right, so if we go over to our animal storage, we can click on these guys. Um, I'm not sure if we can shift click. No, we can't. Okay. Well, we just move them to quarantine. And there we go. Move to quarantine. Okay. Okay. And then let's finish this path here because I just realized it is not finished. And I, for the length on the staff pass, I just go, I mean the width, I just go all the way down. Because we don't need a huge staff path. I forgot to do it on this. And I think it may be too Fine. late. To so next we need staff. We need staff to be able to work in the zoo, right? So let's go ahead and get a caretaker. Can't find an accessible staff room with space. It's right there. How how can you not find it? I think this is the same problem I had last time I started a franchise. Um, is they just they couldn't find their stuff. Okay, we got that. And, uh, mechanic. De definitely need a mechanic. And also well. I think I'll wait on the vet. I think we'll wait on that one. Okay, let's see if we hit play. See if they'll go where they need to go. And then we also have the challenges here that we can do um, if we need to. Or if we want to. Can't find an accessible staff room with space. But it's right there. Right here. Why can't you find it? Okay, I'm gonna, uh, let's zoom in a little bit. See, they're, they come in and then they just kind of walk around. Like, where am I supposed to go? Uh, let's go ahead and move. Over here. Are you gonna find... No. I don't know why. Okay. Well, that went away. Oh, I need a keeper hut. I forgot. <clears throat> All right. The keeper hut, I was just going to put pretty close to the exhibit, the habitat. So, let's see. Uh, which one's the keeper hut? This one? Yes. 
All right, so I'll just put that right outside here. That's the window. There we go. Okay. So I know I need a vet surgery, but I don't really need that right now. It'll be fine. Okay. So we want to get our animal. Why does this look like it's not actually down on the ground? Um, if we just move this. I do not understand what what's going on. I didn't click that. I don't know why it looks like it's floating. All right. I think it's fine. Okay. Uh, while we're here, I want to go ahead and make this. Um, we'll go ahead and do this and make it. Okay. Uh, I think what I'll do is we'll just make it a window. Okay. I kind of don't. Hmm. I kind of don't like this here, though. So, let's see if we can just make that one piece. Can we make it... At least try to make it one piece? Okay, so can we move it at all? No. I don't like that we can't make that one piece. It's annoying. Uh, okay, well, we'll at least move this. Back to where it's like in the middle ish. Okay. So we got that. Let's go ahead and make it windows again. There's probably a way I can do that. Let me know down in the comments if you guys you guys are like, duh, you're supposed to do it this way. Which I know you guys are saying, right? So I'm gonna make these um, below and above nope. I'm gonna bring it down as much as I can. Kind of like there's no windows there almost. Or no um, outside. You know what I mean. The, the frames on the outside. Okay. There we go. So let's go ahead. We are playing the game. Can we uh, pick these guys up from quarantine? Wait. Did I put them in quarantine? I did. Right? I don't know. All right. Well, we'll just go ahead and move them into the exhibit here. Okay. So the vet took them to the quarantine. Okay. Works for me. Um, and then we'll get a message when they're done. I wish we could like cancel the the messages because I'm like, I know I need that. It's fine. Everything's good. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead while they're doing that. We will do, not that, uh, facilities. And I would just go to all. And we'll do a donation box. We'll put one there. And we'll put one over here. So people can, go, can donate when they see the cute little African wild dogs. Alright. And then we'll put an information board. And again, if I'm going fast, just let me know. And I can definitely uh, go slower or let you guys know what I did. And I'm just going to hit H twice to get rid of that heat map because I don't like that. That's annoying. I think I usually put these on each side, but I think I'm going to put right. I'm going to put one right here in the middle. And I think. I think I'm going to make it go down a little bit. Quarantine pass. Ready to leave. Okay. So just again, hit shift and uh, you can bring it up or down. H twice to hide that because I don't like it. And then I always do a speaker uh, and put it into the ground. And you can click on these things even if they're in the ground, which is pretty cool. So I just make sure... To put it kind of in the middle underneath. That way I, I know where they are. Okay. And we'll have to put these animals in before 
before we can do anything. Let's go ahead and go over to quarantine. It should... That's quarantine. Why is it not telling me? Okay. I don't know what's why it's being so weird, but let's go ahead and get out of that. There we go. I guess it thought we were in the building part of it. Alright, we'll move that part. Why didn't it move the other one? This is being weird. I don't know what's going on. Let's go ahead and go to animal trading. And we'll move this guy. Into quarantine. Alright. So, let's get this habitat. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How tall is this? Um, I forgot to check on the height. Let's see. Um, 89 feet. I don't know how long it's set, how tall it said, but we'll go ahead and move it up a little bit just in case. I don't want my first animal to escape right off the bat. All right. So if we click on this guy or girl, sorry. Um, yeah, definitely need some, some things. So let's go ahead and go to terrain. So we can see definitely doesn't want the long grass and wants more short grass. So we'll go ahead and put short grass. I like to have it at least along the front for the guests to see him because the long grass to me makes it harder to see the animals. I don't like it anyways. Okay. So there we go. And I also want soil. So let's go ahead and put soil kind of, uh, people have, have kind of started putting like little runs uh, around the place. So you can kind of tell like where the animal goes, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, that looks a little weird, but it'll be fine. <laughs> uh, I think we're good on the... Uh, uh, terrain there, but now we need hard shelter. So for now, I think what I'll do is go into habitat and we'll just go to the shelters and we can go ahead and sort by species and we'll do African wild dog. So we'll definitely change this up but I want to make sure we, we get stuff going and uh, start making some money before we go all crazy with uh, designing habitats and all that. Because I want to do that. That is like something I definitely want to get better at is all the designing and all that. But for now, I want to shift click and bring this into the, to, into the floor as much as we can. Because I don't like seeing the underside of that. But let's go ahead and get ourselves some bedding. Well, get the wild dog some bedding anyways. So if we click on, uh, as you can see, it, it came up with that, you know, click this object to enter the group. So I just click that. You can also, um, from outside of it, let's get outside of it. If we click that, you can actually just hit R and that will bring you into the editing um, portion of the uh, thing. So you can start editing it from there. All right. So let's see if that's enough for this. So there's only going to be two in here for now, but they definitely are going to um, have babies. So let's see. Habitat, hard shelter. Oh, let's go ahead and play a little bit. Okay, so the hard shelter is 100%. Awesome. And let's see about environment. So they don't really care for too much, uh, but let's see what we can put in here. So if we go to nature, we want to do um, Africa. So we'll do Africa. And then biome is grassland. Okay, so let's see if we can put anything in here.
but they should be good. Let's go ahead and call Keeper to the habitat, and we'll go ahead and play. See how that goes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Shows. Oh, we just got another one. Okay. Increase African wild dog education to a rating of 10%. So let's go ahead and click on these. And we will make them African wild dogs. So once you have an animal in these, it'll actually show up on this drop-down list. Uh, it's like a, a range that it'll show. So it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do African wild dog. And where's the thing? There it is. And do African wild dog. Okay. There we go. So, let's see. Are we making at least some money yet? <laughs> Got some people coming in. That's cool. Um, I think what I want to do before uh, too much longer is just add a little bit. Not that. Um, there we go. Park benches. Add a few park benches just to make people, people comfy. Don't want to put them too close to the entrance. And then we'll just put some around here. We want people to be able to sit down, right? I think we'll put them like that. Okay. Don't think we really need uh, trash bins yet because we don't... I don't know. Do we? I'll wait and see if that becomes an issue. Oh. All right, so we've got one species in here. Do we have the other one yet? Other, the male. Where am, are my animals going? I could have sworn. I could have sworn I put this guy in quarantine, but let's just put him in here. I don't know what's going on right now. No idea, but here we go. We'll get them in, and hopefully they'll have some babies for us. And that will get more people coming in. Um, let's see. I think that is going to be it for this one. We got our first animal. Uh, it did a little bit of, of uh, you know, habitat work. But like I said, I kind of want to wait till we're getting some money in, and then we'll come back and make it look more exciting. But uh, I definitely wanted to get it started. So these guys can uh, hopefully be happy. And oh, one thing I did want to do before we go is let's go ahead and go to our vet research. And we'll research African wild dogs. Because that way we can get more stuff for them, like more um, enrichments and stuff that they'll like. Because I don't think they have any enrichments right now. Ooh, v VIP guest has arrived. Oh, me. I don't know why they do that. Like, I'm, okay, I'm visiting my own park, but I can't say hi. All right. So when you get a VIP guest, most of the time, not if it's yourself, but um, when you get one, you can actually click on them and say hi, and that will give you conservation credits. So I think it's like 20. I don't know if it changes from that, but but that's what I've had is 20. So um, it's pretty cool. But I think that's where we're going to end it for now. Let me know what you guys think. Definitely hit that thumbs up if you have enjoyed. And uh, I'm super excited to start a franchise and uh, get into maybe more of the community projects. Why is he just standing there? And, uh, and all that. So, yeah, it's super cool. Uh, there sure is a lot to do right now. Okay. Uh, not really, but okay. So uh, definitely leave any comments that you have down below, uh, any tips, uh, suggestions, anything like that. Let me know what you want the next animal to be. Um, unfortunately, I will probably have recorded already, but you never know. Uh, so definitely leave those down below. I will get the, the animals in that you guys want to see uh, the best I can anyways, as long as we have the money or conservation credits for it. So... Uh, yeah, I think that's it for now. So until next time, thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a super blessed day and I will see you next time. Bye guys.